listening to Frey. Starting right now. Here's your host Alfredo Leon. Thank you, Alan. Before we begin, I want to give a shout out to my my father, whose birthday is today, uh, June 19th, and uh, I love him so much. And this video is for you. And let's get started with the what happened in, at Iowa Speedway. And let's present the person who got suspended. Here's Johnny. And all seriously, though, here's Johnny. <laughs> Johnny Sauter was the one suspended for one race for his actions in the NASCAR Gander Outdoors Truck Series race at Iowa, at Formation Iowa. I said earlier, on Sunday, Sauter was parked and finished 27th in the M&M's 200 after an on-track altercation with Austin Hill when the race was under caution. On lap 30, 137 of the race, Sauter's 13 Ford went for a spin and hit the outside wall from the 16 Toyota of Hill. Sauter quickly retaliated under the yellow as he spun Hill's truck. Hill was able to finish 12th, though, despite suffering the damage. Sauter remains eligible to compete for the championship according to NASCAR's penalty report. He won at Dover International Speedway on May 3rd. This is something that I'm not really surprised about. You cannot do that, and it's not a good look for NASCAR to try to intentionally wreck a guy on the caution. I understood why Sauter did it, because he was upset, and I don't blame her for doing it, especially after the spin earlier in the race by Hill. Even though like, Sauter, he had little contact. He just moved him out of the way, and then Hill just took it, too far uh, and just spun up and then to cause that caution and then Johnny was just upset and then he ended up spinning him on the caution which is understandable why he did that but maybe that wasn't the best way to handle it but Sardo he wasn't mad he was pissed so and, and, and to no surprise though he was called to the NASCAR hauler after the race and had to meet with them and as a result he got suspended and that's not very surprising as this has been something that's happened before the most infamous out of all of these this probably the one has the biggest comparison to this one was when in 2011 at Texas Motor Speedway when Kyle Busch wrecked Ron Hornaday under caution and as a result of that Busch was suspended for the remainder of the weekend including the cup and Xfinity race and as a result Hornaday was knocked out of the championship and he was unable to win it that year and as a result of that wreck and his car was badly his truck excuse me his truck uh, was badly damaged and as a result he could not continue and and bush was suspended as a result and ruined Hornaday's season and also that's a much more dangerous track too at texas where they go over 150 miles an hour and, and have one mile, mile and a half track and as a result Hornaday's truck was destroyed and other instances and but that was also under caution uh, as well just like this one at t iowa but the, 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 but there are other instances incidents that happened before Excuse me. And this happened most recently, though, in 2015. But there's another one in 2012. But both of these happened on the green, which caused the caution. 2015, specifically when Matt Kenseth wrecked Joey Legato at Marsville Speedway after he was upset over Legato spitting him out in Kansas the week prior. And he didn't never apologize or nothing to Kenseth as Kenseth was expecting that. But Legato never apologized to him. And as a result, Kenseth wrecked him like he did at Marsville. And uh, knocked Le Joey out of the playoffs. As a result, Matt was suspended for two races. That was a hefty fight. And that happened during the race. I mean, under green. It wasn't under caution like the ones with the incidents with Legado, with uh, incidents with Bush and Hornaday and Hill and Sauter. This was under green, which caused the caution. But NASCAR knew that was just too obvious intentional. And as a result, he got parked for two races, especially because of like, the intent of it. And especially since Legado was in the playoffs and Kenzo was knocked out as a result. And Legato was knocked out out of that, and he didn't win the championship that year. But he did, he eventually did get it last year, though. And in 2012, when Jeff Gordon wrecked Clint Boyer at Phoenix International Raceway, and also that happened on the green, as a result, also collected Brian Vickers in the 20 car uh, as a result of that, too. And Boyer was driving the 15 at the time with uh, Mike Waltz Racing. And as a result, Gordon was only suspended. He, wasn't, he was only fined 20K. He uh, 20 or 30K. He was not suspended for that. And he wound up winning the next week at Homestead. And that was that. And th it was a big brawl, obviously, after the words. But no suspension there, though. So, But the other instances, there has been a suspension. So it made sense for, for Sauter to get suspended. You can't just wreck a guy on the caution 
Luckily, though, they did not take away his win. I mean, that doesn't make any sense because he didn't, he didn't really do anything like raw to not get that win. He learned it legally, unlike what happened other that happened at the race. But I'm not going to talk about it here. Uh, but in depth, uh, the Ross Chastain incident where he got his win taken away for like uh, his truck being too low. It, w- it was a crazy race. But the big story was definitely solid against suspending one race. But at least he won't be denied a playoff berth because he already clinched. After his win at Dover, so he's good there. But this is just a, a that's something not NASCAR doesn't want to have like on, on them. You know, not a good look for the sport to do trying to wreck guys on the caution. It's not safe. I know it was Iowa, which isn't as big of a track, but still though, it, it's not a good look. And and not, and I know the boys have at it. There was a day years ago, a couple years ago, and that didn't necessarily work out. Especially guys were still intentionally wrecking one another. And I think this is a good move. You can't just intentionally wreck a guy on the caution, no matter how mad you are, at Austin Hill. Just Johnny, just deal with it after the race. Talk to him or something. But even Hill was interviewed afterwards on FS1, and he stated that he will not uh, end up like if he talks to Johnny, that it will not go well. It will not verbally will not go well. And Johnny, after he was being like uh, tried to be interviewed after the wreck, he did not. Uh, I think it was Alec Cavada uh, on FS1 he tried to interview Johnny Sauter, but he didn't want to talk. And I could understand that he was just super mad at that moment. If I were him, I wouldn't want to be bothered either, just after what happened. But I understood why he did it, though. It's just not a good look to uh, do something like that. And I think it was a good move. I agree with what uh, YouTuber Eric Eastep said, that they just shouldn't take away his playoff points because he earned the win. But probably suspension was good. I agree with him there as well. Uh, Eric Eastep, check him out. Uh, good NASCAR YouTuber as well. And as a result, I mean, it made sense for Johnny to get suspended. Uh, the only one race because he didn't need to get suspended any further because... He's trying to compete for the playoff spot, and, and, he, and he had a shot to – he still got a shot to win a championship. So it was just a crazy race, and as a result, uh, he got suspended. But this is definitely crazy, that weekend in the trucks and all that happening. And you, you, you never would have thought a guy like Johnny Sauter like – I've seen his interviews. He seems calm. He seems chill. I never thought he, he would be a guy that would do something like this. I, I expect a guy like Bush to do something like what he did at Hornaday at Texas. That's Kyle Busch. He's just, his personality isn't great, and I expected him to do something like that, not to the circus, to, not to the extent he did it, but you wouldn't be surprised with a guy like Kyle Busch doing that to, and in a race, but not a guy like Johnny Sauter. Like, he seems like a chill guy. He seems really cool. He seems like a nice guy and all. He just was upset at Hill for just spinning him out. I don't agree with what Hill did, like I said, but Johnny had no right to do that under caution. It's just not a good look at it, especially during the pace laps and Hill was lucky his truck wasn't damaged like Hornaday's. Ron Hornaday's was at Texas. And uh, luckily, though, and that is that at least this happened like at a regular, at least it was just two competitors. Like they're going to deal with each other again. Uh, but Bush, though, he was just a chicken for doing what he did to Hornaday at, at Texas when he had that incident. So, but I don't blame Johnny. I, I just wouldn't have done it the way he did it, but he was just upset. And honestly, he just he tried to send a message, but. Obviously, these two have to figure, uh, deal with each other at some point in two weeks since he's not going to be racing at where would Detroit race him next, the trucks, Gateway. So he won't be there, but he'll definitely have to deal with him at some point. They're going to have to talk at some point. So they're going to keep battling with us. So the, I think those two will talk and settle it down, but good call out of NASCAR to do this and just suspend him from one race. Just give him a message, send him a message to don't do that. He could be on probation, but I didn't hear that when I read about it. So... But a good move from NASCAR and, and a good lesson for Johnny Sauter to learn not to do that because NASCAR has seen this stuff before and they just try to avoid something like this to happen again. So kudos to them for doing it. And as a result, the good news for Johnny, he'll still be able to compete for the championship as he, he got his win, like I said. So good move for him. And Hill was lucky that he was still able to finish the race. So just to, to see what happened with these two, if they could end up patching things up. I think they will, but it won't be pretty like Hill said. So we'll see how it goes but good move from nascar like i said and as a result he got his suspension which was deserved because you can't do that like i said so kudos to them for that i don't really have much else to say about about besides that so anyways hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to leave a like if you are brand new subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next video peace